to come from Bulgaria, JB and Paul, team selection test 2018. So for this question, A, B are positive real numbers. We are asked to show that this expression is strictly greater than 18. experience solver, it is not difficult to see that we just need to use AMUM inequality. So we will let J to be this expression. And we know that A squared plus B squared will be greater than or equal to 2AB. And for the first term, we see that it is equal to 1 over A4, B4. And our denominator, the power, of, the power of A is 4. For numerator, the power here is 2 and 1. So we need to do something so that they have an equal power. So I will make it as 81A squared B squared will all still remain the same. But for 9AB, I'll change it as 9 over 2AB plus 9 over 2AB. So that the power of A in numerator will be sum of 4, same as the power in the denominator. With this, we use AMGN inequality again in four terms. So this will be greater than or equal to 4 times the product of all these to the power of 1 over 4. And this will be equal to 1 over A4, B4, 81 A squared, B squared to the power of 4, and 9 over 2 A, B squared. As we noticed just now, the term in A and B will be cancelled off. And we'll be left with 81, that is 9 squared. So 9 squared, 9 squared to the power of 1 of 4 will be just 9. And 4 is actually 2 squared. And we have another 2 squared, that will be 2 to the power of 4. Then to the power of 1 of 4, it will be equal to 4. So this will be equal to 4 times 9 over 2. And this will give me 18. Now, for this question, we are asked to show this expression is strictly greater than 18. But what we have here is j is greater than or equal to 18. So we need to show that the equality never holds. So let me continue here. The equality holds and only if from here a is equal to b, and from here each of the terms here has to be the same. That is 1 over a4 b4 equals to 81a squared b squared over 4 equals to 9 over 2ab. Now, if a equals to b, this will be a squared and this will be a power 4, which means that a squared will be equal to 9 over 2. But when a squared equals to 9 over 2, this, it can't fulfill this condition. In short, it is not possible to fulfill all the conditions here. So it means that the equality never holds. And that's right. J has to be strictly greater than 18. So we have solved the question. But for us, this is only the first half of the question. For the second part of the question, we want to push the lower bound. Instead of 18, we hope to push it to 20. For the second half of the presentation, I'll show you J is greater than 20. For now, I'll erase here to save some space. Okay, so this will be equal to 1 over a4 b4. Now, in this case, 9ab still remain the same, but 81 over 4 I write as 3 over 2, 27 over 2, then a squared b squared. For the first half, we use AMGM inequality. And for now, we are using the weighted AMGM inequality. And note that the coefficient of this term is equal to 1. The coefficient of this term also equals to 1. Then, using weighted AMGM inequality, this will be greater than or equal to the sum of the coefficient that is equal to 1 plus 3 over 2 plus 1. It is 7 over 2. And take the product of all this to the power of the corresponding condition that is 1 over a4 
b4 to the power of 1 times 27 over 2 a squared b squared to the power of 3 over 2 times 9ab to the power of 1 and the whole thing to the power of the reciprocal of this number that is in this case 2 over 7. So with this, this will equal to 7 over 2. Now, we will see that the term in A for the denominator, the power is 4. For the numerator here, the power is 3, and here is 1, so they will cancel off. So that's for B. So, so now we have only 1, and this is 27 over 2 to the power of 3 over 2, and this is 9 to the power of 1 and everything to the power of 2 over 7. Um, now, of course, we need to use calculator to get what is this number. It is about 20.005. 20.005, of course, is greater than 20. So with this, we have proved that J is greater than 20, which is a slightly better bound compared to the original question. You can also get the exact uh, minimum value using Wolfram Alpha, and you will see that the actual minimum value for J is about 20.006. So for this short presentation, first half, we use AMGM inequality, and the second half, you use weighted AMGM inequality. That's all for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.